So I feel like you're in the process of separating the wheat from the chaff and you're trying to figure out what do I need to keep and what can I just toss to the wind, okay? So in a material way for many of you, this is literally indicative of some type of a major process of purging, okay? Purging behaviors or things in your physical environment that are no longer good for you. Okay, so I'm sensing like, you know, um, digging through your closet and, and, and donating things to charity, cleaning up your house and figuring out that, you know, this is not something I want to bring forward with me. So I'm going to try to uh, release them and try to let them go. And hopefully somebody can make, you know, better use of uh, these items. And then I also feel like in a um, mental, spiritual way, Purging the negativity, okay? Purging the things that kind of like uh, cloak over the things that are important, okay? So, for example, I'm sensing that, you know, for many of you, uh, figuring out how to streamline your work processes, how to like connect with other people in your work environment so that you're not just, you know, uh, some worker in a some anonymous worker in a cubicle you're creating that sense of community you're reaching out you're branching out and you're in a position where there's more light-hearted energies there's more you know camaraderie between you and your co-worker so whatever environment you were in before I just feel like Every man was for himself you know everyone was working but they weren't working together and then um, it just seemed a little bit isolating whereas you're coming into the month of October there's a lot more socializing there's a lot more camaraderie there's a lot more of like like-minded people joining together to fulfill or you know establish some type of um, like a common goal working towards a common goal working with common tasks working with commonality so I feel like you're connecting with a community of people that you might not have uh, been able to connect to before so I feel like you know um, we all need our alone time, but I, I feel like you are breaking up or waking up from your slumber and joining that sense of community of people, okay? Um, the other thing I'm sensing as well is um, uh, the other word that came out is I'm, I'm seeing like seeing the importance in things, okay? So like I said, the denser things, the things that are substantive, the things that are of value, they sink into the mat, right? Or they rest on the mat. And the things that are frivolous, the things that we really shouldn't bother or uh, give our energy to, give our time to, they're going to be cast away into the wind, okay? And so there's this process here about being carefree again throwing your cautions to the wind, um, going wherever, you know, the winds might take you, and trusting that your destination is going to be uh, an environment where you're well cared for, where your needs are going to be met. So that, that's what I'm seeing here. And so the energy for this month, I feel like there are major crossroads that you're kind of like um, walking towards, okay? It's like uh, everything is converging. All the roads are converging and you're going to have to figure out the next big phase. And the reason why I say that is we have this card about things coming in, okay? So we have the Three of Wands. This is something that we have been waiting for a really, really long time for. And you guys are very, very patient in general. You know, you don't get anxious. You don't get restless. And even if you do, you don't let it show in your demeanor, in the way that you're interacting with other people. You, you rarely, rarely show your impatience with other people, with situations. So I feel like you have been um, patiently, diligently, you know, just minding your own business, working at your craft, building up your wealth, waiting for the next step, okay? And I feel like for many of you, this is pretty much the next step in your career. We have the Six of Wands. This is like prestige, getting recognition, being um, somebody who other people look up to, and they're going to look at you. They uh, want to, you know, pick your brains. They want to ask you for advice and expertise. And this is also somebody that has, you know, a lot of recognition. They have a lot of achievement under their belt. So many of you are in this position where the things that you have worked really, really hard at and the things that, you know, you've contributed to society in some way or the things that you, your skills that you carry with you, the things that are of substantial value 
are being recognized, are being harvested, are being re uh, realized by other people. So there's a major, I feel, um, possibly three paths, two paths, when it comes to your career, okay? Where do I want to go? What is um, the best option for me? I feel like many of you might be at a crossroads where you're trying to figure out, you know, what is my next move? What is the next stage? What is the next thing that I'm meant to be? And um, in, a, in a way, I feel like Piscean people are very, very spiritual in general. And you believe in signs. You believe in synchronicities. And you believe that, um, you, you believe in like the divine guiding you. So you see signs and you see uh, patterns and you feel like you feel like those signs and those patterns are created in your environment just for you to guide you in the right dis um, direction to help you make the right decision. And I feel like there's a lot of spiritual hits coming through where you are being divinely pointed towards the right direction. And so... I'm seeing some major, major decisions, okay? This is like a brand new path opening. So you can see kind of like the land clearing up. And these two people, you know, they're just like, we've, we've made it, we've conquered it. Now what is the next step? And so there is internal conflict here, five of wands, okay? This is like not so much fighting with other people, more so fighting with yourself between what is the practical route that you need to take versus the route that you feel you're emotionally or mentally or some in some type of way that you can't really describe, like um, intuitively drawn to. So I feel like there are two paths that are opening up and you're not really sure which road to take, okay? One road is going to take you to the top of your career path. King of Wands. This is someone who's made it. This is someone who rules like, you know, a kingdom, okay? He's looking at all his subjects. So he's making sure that everyone is well, well fed. And so you're in an environment where things are very cushy, right? He can stay here forever. Like, um, he, he's, he exerts authority. He's well taken care of. His subjects are well taken care of. So it's a very, very comfortable, lush, um, I want to say plentiful environment. So you're going to keep advancing, keep, keep climbing, and keep, you know, um, keep at it wherever you're at. So it's a very, very comfortable situation. On the other hand, we have another path where you're dealing with a little bit more, I want to say, instability, unpredictability. You might be in an environment where, you know, the, the work is a little bit more challenging. The work is a little bit more unpredictable. There might be a lot of, um, I feel like uh, there's a lot of risk associated with making the wrong decision. Um, not so much, there isn't a right or a wrong decision with your own personal decision. But what I feel is this job You've already known it in and out, okay? You're already at the peak of your career. This job, on the other hand, it's like there's a lot of risk about making the wrong choice. Um, making the bad decision or making the wrong choice garners real-life consequences, okay? So I feel like this is what is really drawing you. But there's a lot about you feeling like, I don't want to fail, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to do something wrong, because there are real-world consequences. Whereas in this job, I'm already where I need to be, I already know everything inside and out. And so while this offer is coming to you, I feel like you know there isn't a, uh, a right or a wrong choice. I feel almost like somebody coming in wanting to appease you, wanting to like bargain with you, wanting to barter, wanting to you know really keep you around so they're making like a, a gesture and I feel like you're in a very good position if you're um, if you're like negotiating your salary ne negotiating anything for the month of October you're in a very very good position because I feel like the other person or the other group or the other situation is coming to you taking the initiative to make you multiple offers that you can't refuse okay so you're in a very good position Money looks really, really good. And you have um, two cards. I feel that Aquarius also received. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very stable... Um, it, 
it, it's a situation that stands the test of time, okay? It's a very stable, structural type of an environment where things have been built over time, where there is like a support system, where there are networks, where there are like linkages that have been established over time, over many, many, many years, and I would say decade. It's a situation that is very stable, and it, it garners or it promises a lot of financial abundance, okay? So wherever you go, there isn't a right or a wrong choice here, Pisces, and I feel like you're caught between, you know, comfort and stability. And then there's this alluring second choice here where there's a lot of risk, there's a lot of excitement, and there's also a lot of, like, needing to think on your feet. And I feel like because this other situation is so dynamic, it promises a lot more prosperity and a lot more wealth down the line, okay? So, um, for those of you who are in a position where you're negotiating or you have been offered a position, this is an offer that didn't come lightly, okay? It's not like they're, you know, uh, rounding every Joe Schmo down the street and offering him a job, okay? A lot of people are vying for this position, but higher-ups, whoever is in charge, they've got you in mind, and they're willing to really keep you, so they're willing to negotiate with you on your terms. So this is a card as well about competition, so I feel like it's not, it's like you, you decimated your opponents, you really, really stand out, and I feel like your diligence when it comes to your work and being responsible and being like, um, being very intuitive about um, making, you know, taking risks and things like that really pays off, and at this point, they really want you, okay? Um, I'm also feeling this energy in terms of like partnerships as well where there might have been you know two options okay uh there is one option here for stability and then another option for excitement like extreme excitement and i feel like once again there isn't a right or a wrong choice it's just a matter of whether or not you are ready okay whether or not you're ready for that commitment if you are then by all means you know be prepared to um be prepared to enter it for the long haul and then on the other hand there is a situation here where it's it's more about you know excitement and and it might be something that can you know i i feel like a situation where you're getting to know somebody a little bit more on the superficial level like the relationship has the potential to deepen okay but on the surface it seems like there's a lack of compatibility you might argue all the time conflict Okay, you might not really agree with each other on an ideological level. The swords indicate, you know, mental processes, thoughts, beliefs, ideologies, and I feel like there's a lack of innate compatibility. However, for whatever reason, the two of you can build together and the relationship can deepen and there's a tremendous sense of trust as well. So you might not be totally compatible when it comes to the things that you like and you don't like, but deep down there's a mutual sense of like, you know, really respecting the other person's um, um, intelligence and respecting the fact that they're going to be there, they're going to be like a, an equal partner. And then they likewise, you know, feel the same way about you. So there is a, definitely a softer choice, safer choice here, but there's oft, uh, also a more um, dynamic, a more, this has more friction in it, I feel, but it has the potential for longevity as well. So I definitely feel you have either like, you know, two um, people or two career paths and you're at kind of like the, that, that major fork in the road. And I feel like there isn't really a wrong choice. It's just, you know, allowing the experience to come in and then choosing to experience something first and then maybe experiencing this other thing later. So I feel like for, for many of you, there is definitely crossroads, decisions, and things like that. And I would say don't fret over it. Okay. Um, what I'm also sensing as well is um, you have a lot of divine protection and divine guidance. And I feel like this is what I normally call like ancestral karma, okay? We have here the Six of Pentacles. This is like very, very uh, strong, good karma coming back home to roost, okay? Whatever good deeds you have done and you guys are 
uh, aside from like you know the Aquarius people, you guys are huge humanitarian signs of the zodiac. Okay, you guys care about the underserved population. You guys, um, it's it's almost like your heart bleeds for others who are suffering. Okay. And so there have been a lot of good deeds, a lot of good acts that you've done over the years, and they have not been unnoticed. You might feel in the midst of it that, you know, I've done so many good things for other people, and they just take advantage of me. Um, and I feel like, you know, the, the whole concept about, you know, giving alms and, and, um, and um, serving others is that we want to uplift them. We don't want anything in return. Because if you look at it, okay, those uh, the beggars on the, the street, they don't have anything to give back. So when we give of ourselves, of our time, money, resources, whatever it is, we want to do it for the betterment of the other person. We don't really want anything in return because they're not in a position to give us anything in return. And so I feel like there's a, a tremendous good karma coming back into the picture. Um, and I feel like for many of you, the career portion has been at a stalemate for quite some time. I would say like for the past five years, your path kind of meander, okay? Um, some of you might feel like a little bit stagnant when it comes to your career. Others of you are just like waiting for that big break, okay? Waiting for like um, a, a change in a career path or doing something that is not so mundane and, and, you know, mindless. And so what we have here with the emperor energy is somebody in a higher up position. They are really taking notice of you. And I feel like this is one of the ways in which um, the, the uh, spiritual, you know, good karma can manifest is being very visible to, uh, you know, people in positions of authority that can really help your career. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're, you're getting a little boost from the other side where somebody that ha that is helping you, uh, helping you stand out, helping you in some way. And one of the stories that um, I, I want to just mention very quickly so you understand where I'm coming from. You know how, like, sometimes when you're, like, um, when you're in a new work environment, right, for some reason, for example, you have, like, you know, a secretary, Sue, every time she comes around your cubicle or your office, she always sees you kind of, like, spaced out, so in her opinion, she's all, like, oh, the Pisces is, like, spacey and not doing a lot of work and not very productive, but every time, you know, um, IT technician Joe comes around, you're always typing away, you're always like eating at your desk, and you're always like super hyper productive. And so um, IT guy Joe always uh, thinks the Pisces person is so hardworking. So it's kind of strange how certain people have different perception of us, right, based on their limited experience or interaction with us. But for whatever reason, there's a pattern. Every time Joe sees you, you're always, like, working. And then every time Sue sees you, you're always, like, spaced out or, you know, on your phone. So it's just, you know, they're give, getting a very narrow uh, snippet of your of your environment, okay? They're getting a very narrow snippet or understanding or assessment of you. So what I'm feeling here is there is some type of a synchronicity associated with the, the person in a position of power who can really help, uh, who can really make or break your career. And for some reason, this person, whenever they see you, thank God, you're always at your best. You're always working. And so in their mind, they're like, I don't know what... Anybody says about the Pisces, they're very, very hardworking. And I feel like you've registered on their radar for being a hard worker or for being a good worker, for being diligent, for getting the task done. Uh, this is someone who's very hard to please, okay? With this emperor energy, this is someone who rules empire, so they have to make rational decision. They value ingenuity. They value hard work. They value, in a way... Um, doing things by the book, okay, because I, I always associate this, the stone bench, as someone who's a judge and who's a juror, someone who is, you know, a little bit, like, hard to please, and 
they really have a deep innate understanding of people and their motives and, and things like that they don't see any hidden motives in you they see you at your best and i feel like for some reason they're always watching and so i feel like there might be a situation where success is very very slow as in, in as indicated by this you know tortoise success is coming in they've been working behind the scenes to manifest things and, and to pull things into your orbit okay and I feel like there will be some type of a major offer coming through when it comes to your career and it's going to break open and, and open up a new path. career wanting to jump start some type of a career okay so that's what I have for you here um, there's also really strong expansion pregnancy discussions about delaying pregnancy as well in order to jumpstart a career or in order to see a career come to fruition before we can have further conversations about you know children. I also feel like there's a, a lot of financial stability coming through. So if you've kind of been struggling and you have a partner and you're now at a point where I think you and your partner are well prepared to make that major decision you know because finances is it's looking good and so you're thinking like are we ready to have children are we ready to to you know bring more people into this household okay so beautiful reading beautiful energies and i feel like this month is going to be a really really good month for blessings and a lot of expansion coming through either in love or either in the work environment and I feel like it's going to make you pleasantly happy all right so Pisces I'm glad to uh, get a hold of you guys again and to touch bases with you guys thank you for still viewing my videos I really appreciate that so I just want to uh, give a little bit of an explanation I had to take about six months off um, from the tarot mainly because my main job was very very taxing um, I feel like I have a good handle on it so I'm gonna try to start up the channel again I can only commit to um, doing realistically just one set of videos for the 12 signs a month so there won't be a mid-month okay there will just be a monthly and that is all the time that I really have uh, because of my main job um, I appreciate you guys still hanging around and uh, for the record I'm not yourself enjoy the rest of September and I will be back um, in the month of October for November's reading okay take care bye bye